Hey, what is up YouTube? This is We All Juggle Knives with a video uh, comparing the Leatherman Juice S2. In this corner and in the other corner, Victorinox Deluxe Tinker. I've already done a video review of the Deluxe Tinker, so I'll include that link. You can check out the review of this. And now an overview of this S2. Well, first, of course, we've got the pliers. The whole reason for multi-tools existing in the form and the design that they do with the two folding handles and the external tools, we have a combination bottle opener, can opener, we have the blade, and we have the scissors. And the inside tools, we have a 3D Phillips driver and three flatheads, right? A small, a medium, and a large. Okay, right off the bat, I gotta give the edge to the Leatherman in terms of the players. Yeah, everybody saw that coming, I mean, predictable you know these are just better larger stronger pliers what about the scissors you know they would appear to be almost equal they're around the same length and I've used them both they both work very well but you know what I got to give the advantage to the deluxe tinker why because of access um, to get these out right you need to unfold the combo opener tool because it overlaps these scissors, you have to unfold this out, right, and then get your scissors. The scissors themselves are pretty much equal, but a lot better access with the Swiss Army knife. And now for the blades, and you're talking a full flat grind versus, uh, it's a hollow grind, and it's also fairly narrow. Uh, I can tell you that the Victorinox style blade, it gives you more blade, it's going to be easier to resharpen, to get sharp, and you can also sharpen it more times. You know, this wider full flat grind to me is just superior. You know, the shape of this blade, the whole design is just really dictated by the need to fit into a single handle, right, of the multi-tool. So this blade shape, this design, it's not designed this way because it's better more efficient as a cutting tool. It just, it has to fit right there. So even like, you know, the curve on the spine, that's just to match like the curve here, you know? So it's, it's really limited. Of course, I do realize that the same is true here. This has to fit into um, the handle of the knife, but it's wider, right? It's wider than a, one handle of a multi-tool. So they had a lot more um, leeway to work with. They were able to make this just wider and give you more blade. So yeah, I have to give uh, the advantage in blades to the Swiss Army knife, but that's not all. Hold on. You even get a real nice second blade, a real nice little pen knife blade too. So not only is the primary blade better, but you get a second blade in case uh, that gets damaged or something. And now about the tool sets, there are some tools that the Swiss Army knife has that the Leatherman just does not, right? There's the toothpick. To me, that doesn't matter that much. I don't really care about the toothpick. There's the parcel hook, which has some uses, but to me, not very relevant. There's the tweezers. Tweezers are actually quite useful, so, it, it you know, they, they need to find a way to just uh, put some tweezers in the handle scale and the reamer this has a reamer this does not is is a reamer useful i find them very useful you can drill wood with them i use them to punch holes in pouches so i can put a carabiner through the pouch so i can clip things to the pouch so yeah the reamer is actually useful it gives it a slight advantage also notice there's like an open slot there they could have potentially fit something else in here. A little bit of inefficiency, just that, that dead space, that dead space there. As for the screwdrivers, this has one Phillips and two flatheads. All right, so basically the Leatherman has four. You know, the only thing that it has that this doesn't is uh, the smallest size of screwdriver. So a slight advantage there, but um, the flathead on the opener 
actually has more reach than the, than the equivalent size flathead on this. And the Phillips, you know, being a T-handle does allow you to apply more force. So, you know, I would say it's basically a tie. Neither of these has decisively better set of uh, screwdrivers. Okay, what about overall compactness and ease of carry? I have to give the slight edge to the Leatherman. Um, you know, you can see the Leatherman is thinner, right? And it's also shorter, right? Although it is wider, but still it's thinner and shorter. And overall, it is a bit more compact for what you get. All right, so advantage to the Leatherman. However, I have to say, if the Leatherman came with a pocket clip, I would, I would have uh, said that the Leatherman just decisively beat the Victorinox in the ease of carry. Um, yeah, a pocket clip would have put that just over the top. I don't know why they don't give you a pocket clip because um, on this Leatherman Sidekick, which is bigger, heavier, and longer, they give you a pocket clip there. So, you know, especially since they got rid of one of the uh, sets of scales, why not, why not uh, put a pocket clip somewhere there? And one more interesting thing about the compactness and ease of carry, check this out. This is a Wenger, I believe it's called the Tradesman. I'll have to look that up. But this is a Wenger, no longer in production, but it's basically the Wenger equivalent of the Deluxe Tinkers. You see it as the pliers and the scissors. And interestingly, uh, Wengers are usually three and a quarter, right? You see, it's a little bit, a little bit shorter, whereas the juice is around 3.3 inches. So the, the uh, basically, if they made this a little shorter, like the old Wenger, um, it would be competing more favorably in terms of compactness. Okay, so who wins? You know, we could go on and on and on, but who, who wins? I have to say that actually, to me, the Leatherman does win. It does win. However, it does not win as decisively as uh, as some other people, you know, would would have as their opinion. But you know, we we all have our opinions. I'm not complaining. I'm just sharing with you mine. I hope you enjoyed this discussion. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.